All right guys, two independent handle jackhammers. This is my favorite um, variant of jackhammers. You could do it with a straight bar and just use two hands to do a jackhammer. Um, that was where I originally learned these. They, that works fine, I'll still occasionally do it just for variation. Uh, but this way actually I find gets me a much better contraction. All right, so what you wanna do, again on a cable cross, cause you need these uh, handles pretty close together. You want to set your cables not at the highest level because it's going to get really hard on your shoulders to get the weight down. You don't want that and there's no reason for it. You're not using that part of the motion. All right, so bring them down a few notches so they're about maybe like chest height about, right? So the handles are sitting about chest height. Right now it's much easier for me to press, get these in position to press down. All right, so I'm grabbing the two handles. All right, what I'm going to focus on is basically doing like a jack handle. Like I'm jack handling um, some cement, right? And so I'm going to drive down and inward. Right, as I twist, right, so again, as you've probably seen in some of my other chest videos, thinking about pronation inward, right, with your hands, right, pronating inward and trying to basically straight down. And you can see that's going to contract my chest right, as I do that, right? What are you going to use this for? You're going to use this really to hit the sort of bottom part of your pack, right? What's driving downward? Well, this part of your pack is really what's pulling downward. Obviously, you can hit some teres and some lats as well, but really minimally, right, because you're kind of I didn't really mention this, but you're not, you notice I'm slightly angled forward, right? So I'm not like leaning back, right? And trying to do like a lat flop, lat contraction, right? I'm angled forward and trying to drive down with my chest, right? So I'm focusing on driving my chest, bringing back up, right? Letting my elbows drift high, right? And focusing on driving my elbows down and inward as I pronate my hands, right? So my elbows up, drive my elbows down with my chest, right? Pronate inward and squeeze my chest as I contract at the bottom, right? Be careful, you might notice um, some shoulder impingement or some shoulder uh, pain if you do these um, often enough or too often, or you might notice your trap tightens up, that tends to happen to me sometimes. Uh, just back off if that's the case, or you know, skip these for a week and throw them back in. But I do really like them for developing the lower part of your pectoral.